from the bird dog, you're going to gain a four point stance with your hands shoulder width apart directly below your shoulders, knees hip width apart directly below your hips. And I want you up on your toes as well. Now, your spine should be a nice neutral spine with a slight curve in the lower back and your head retracted. So, progression one is just the upper body, just the arm movement. So, what you're going to do is maintain a nice strong core. You don't want any rotation in the spine and you're going to extend the arm towards the far wall. Good, and bring it back down. So everything should stay in a solid position while you're moving the arm. So if we do the right arm, so there's no rotation going through the spine, nice and strong, steady core. Now progression two, you're just going to do the lower body. So again, maintain a nice strong core, no rotation going through the spine, no hyperextension occurring. You're going to uh, draw out the leg towards the far wall behind you keeping your toes down towards the uh, floor and bring it back into a starting position. So if you repeat that for me. As you bring it out, it's about keeping your back nice and level, hips uh, in line, no rotation through the, through the hips. You don't, it's not going for height, so it's length rather than height. So do that once more for me. You can stand back, glutes contracted, nice stable spine, and come back into the starting position. So that's progression two. Progression three is both the opposite arm and leg, okay? So again, maintain nice strong core, no rotation, hips level, you're gonna extend the left arm and right leg. And you can see nice strong core, there's no hyperextension, no rotation through, through the back, and you're gonna bring them back in for me, and you're gonna swap to opposite sides. Again, nice stable foundations. Now, I would hold that for 10 seconds in this position before returning back to the starting position, and then repeat on the other opposite side. 